Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. So last time we helped Detective Jowd get out of prison right, finish chapter 9. We're gonna do chapter 10 today, so let's get into it. Let's go. We're gonna be with Lynn, 11.41 p.m. Now that my assignment to stop the execution had ended in such an satisfactory way, I decided to go see Lynn at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Jowd's story about the other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lynn about it? I just don't know. But look at this place though. What is she doing? This time, Lin isn't dead, but the atmosphere there makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Okay, I'm glad Lin isn't dead, but what in the world is she doing? Then again, I do really want to know, or do I really want to know? Oh, he's dead. Okay, let's talk to Lin first. What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but... Well, and how did it go? Was the Detective Jowd still alive? He'd already been executed by the time I got there, but I did manage to save him. You did? Oh, I'm glad. Oh, wait a minute. Did you say but? I told Lynn about my adventure at the prison. About the other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanala arrested Detective Jowd. I can't believe it. Yeah, I feel the same way. I can believe that wherever I go, somebody is always dead, either you or someone else. Sorry about that. So who is that lying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed him, did you? That's the Justice Minister. The man who signed the, the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. He was already dead when I get here, or got here. Shouldn't you have called for help in that case? Uh, I guess so. Bottom wanted, remember, for murder. Yeah, she can't just call someone, right? And when she's here because she's trying to stop uh, the execution, right? And then the other cops will come and they're gonna say, Oh, you killed him because he didn't stop the execution or something like that. She's gonna get blamed, I mean, if she called more help. I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We? Eh, oh boy. Here we go. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm, he's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Could you rescue him now while he's still unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it'll be faster to just see for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go, then, to four minutes before his death. Rewind. But haven't we seen this guy already? Emma. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, we see we saw this guy, right? Oh, and what chapter was it? Was it the third chapter with the lady in red? Or the, the yeah, the girl, the, the woman with the red hair. I'll do as you say. This is terrible. So who killed him though? He's losing it though. Oh, stop it, sir. He's gonna explode. <laughs> what is happening to him? 
Oh, he got a heart attack. Medicine. He couldn't get his medicine and he died. Can we even save him like this though? Water. Oh no, he's going to drop the water as well. That's how he died. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up. He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can have that. If a man tries to have this medicine bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like you could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's a word. The more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Just call me... A seeker of truth. A seeker of truth. Sidestepped to that one, didn't he? Now you trick time. Bone. I oh, maybe you can go to Emma. Oh, it's not Emma, it's the other one. I thought Emma was the, the other lady. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. So who, who is this? How did you get this number? It's the beauty girl, right? The beauty. We have your daughter. Oh, who is this? Amelie's tutor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? No. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. My daughter, is she alright? Then tell me she's alright. Here for yourself? What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. So it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? Oh, so they were the ones who wanted to execute him, uh, Detective Jout, much faster. I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with a confirmation, so there's no need for this kidnapping. We are very Toro. You do well to remember that. And of course, it goes without saying, we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. Alright, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. How about we go there? Alright. Let's check it out. Maybe we'll come back later. Trace complete. Apparently the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea word of tonight's deal had leaked. See, I told you it was fake. No, I kind of had a feeling though. I hate you, Mama. Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that the Justice Minister could hear her voice. But what's taking the good so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. Trick time. So, yeah, we cannot even go here. Like, look, it's too far away. 
I can't use the phone right now. Like I said, all women are like traps. That and this are hardly related. But in the past, I can only use the line. Uh oh, this woman doesn't show any signs of moving from that spot. And I can't use a telephone line either. I fell into a trap. All women are like traps. Some are sweet traps, others are bitter. Don't you understand that? Okay, anyway, I think I better rethink things here. Okay, no choice, but we gotta go back. Okay, do we still have to do this? Yeah, let's just skip it then. How do you skip this again? I actually don't remember. There, okay. I wish they had a skip button though. For example, if you see, you saw the text already, right? Like other visual novel games? I mean, this is more of a, I guess, adventure puzzle game. But it's, yeah, heavily... A lot of heavy dialogue, I mean, so... It's kind of like a visual novel as well, you could say that. But yeah, they should have had skip there, so if you go back, you don't need to... Repeat those words. This is terrible. A kidnapping. Once again, I'm not sure what the word means, but it's probably the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. I'd better do something about that medicine. Okay, medicine, he says. I have to call my wife. I have to see if it's true. Maybe they called the wrong person. This minister doesn't accept the truth easily. He's morally bankrupt. Okay, now we're taking too far. His wife won't answer for some reason. A wife who doesn't answer her phone, I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't this man understand that? Now I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. So this medicine stops the minister attacks, eh? If I could, I'd spill them onto his desk right now. But unfortunately, I can't even open the cap. What a shabby excuse for a man. Hmm? He wears his important looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. But what does he have inside? Nothing. A miserable shabby excuse for a man. I think you already said it quite enough. Alright, uh, we gotta do anything here, so... The only thing we can do is go here, I suppose. Here's a water pitcher. If only I could at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks his pitcher to the floor at the end of his four minutes. Such a stupid man. Once water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well, why do people still spill water pitchers? I don't know. Those who didn't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Lag. I guess hey, we gotta wait here. Let's wait a little bit. The only thing we can do here is this flag. We can't even reach that, see? So he's gonna knock uh, the picture off, then we're probably gonna hit it with the flag. You do it, sir. Oh, yeah, there. He's 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 having it. Uh oh, here it comes. He's worrying and inside he have reached their peak. Hmm. If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? But. There wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet though, so I can't give up now. The thing is we can't even we can't even do anything with the medicine there. Okay, the water, the water. There. Get it. 
Yes! You can move here, right? Oh, there we go. Spin harder. Okay, we made it. There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Hmm? He can make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay? At least now I bought some time to get his to get his medicine to him. Okay, move. There we go. So now what do we do with this one? We're at the medicine now. Okay, time for the next step. Now about this medicine bottle. If the minister is going to make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I'll just have to use my head instead. Okay, we're here. The sword or the armor arm. Okay, salute. And then we have a hanging basket here. Or, or, wait. Turn rock. Frame hanger. Wait, do we remove this first though? Or what? What is at the bottom though? We cannot reach this one. Okay, we removed that one, and now what do we do? Okay, what is rock? You turn. What happens if you turn like this? Then? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Close it. And then I guess we're gonna remove the other one, right? Then spin it. This urn is pretty light. Once an urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. Hmm, I guess I better think carefully about what I drop and when. We drop this. It's pretty light frame for its size. There sure are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen man. Huh? He deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about fallen man, but he talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is what order the objects are dropped in. Okay, roll that, I suppose, right? And then this one. Okay, how do we do this then? Turn that. Oh my god, it's on the other side. We got it wrong, we need to go back. Okay, we're back, so... Rock this, right? Okay. Now what? What do we do now here? 
So we got the globe here. Swing it. There. Yes, we gave it back to him. My medicine. We did it. Dude. Oh, come on, man. You're gonna die from that now. There, the minister finally took his medicine. He's gonna overdose from that. That, that was insane. <laughs> I think maybe he even took too much medicine. Such a greedy man. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Ah, uh, cut the guy some slack, sir. There, see? He survived. That was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope you learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. But hey, we did it though. And so the justice minister is now back to life. But the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. And apparently our lady detective is present is the present cause of those furrows. Look, detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence. All they had is his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back. I told you. I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death proof convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out tonight. No. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as justice minister. That's all there is to it. Brick time. Okay, what is this? Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the justice minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Swing it. Oh. Sizzle? Sizzle, there you are. It sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lin what I had learned about the kidnapping. Kidnapping? They kidnapped the justice minister's daughter? Yeah, apparently. Oh my goodness. But still... That still is no reason to hurry forward to the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say the, do that to the minister then? The poor man, I hate to do, him, do that to him. Oh, by the way... Do you think you could carry me? Alright, sure. Not very handy is it having no legs. How do you get the globe though? Okay. 
Imagine bringing that to the justice minister. What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this, uh, pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question. So were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as ghost, right? Are you talking about me? Uh, no, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Don't you remember me? I mean, he was conscious though, so yeah, he knows about uh, Sizzle though, right? My dream is talking to me. So now I'm a dream because we had a detective, right? What chapter was that? Chapter 8, I think. He was unconscious. That's why when we saved him, he didn't know, right? But for us, the justice minister, he was he was alive. He was okay. He was, un he was conscious. We could uh, converse with him, right? And now he, he thinks he's losing his mind. Mr. Minister, we know we know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Your medicine, please take it. Calm down. Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped if he isn't executed tonight. My daughter, my Emily. But what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get to the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping in the only way I know how. No, no, no. Wait. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh, I'm not a dream? Looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. While we talk to Lin here. Don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean the demand is to carry out an execution that was already set to be carried out. So it's just like the minister said, there's no need for such kidnapping. You might be right. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no, there's no such thing. No such thing. I'm a realist. I'll never believe in them. Not in the existence of ghosts, not in the escape from prison, and not in this kidnapping. Hmm, this realist is running away from several very real facts. At high speed too. Anyway, let me try and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Oh, that's right. You have the telephone number. I think I'll go see what these kidnappers look like. Okay, got no choice. We need to go there. Oh my god, I keep going to him. I really should pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. After all, if you want the justice minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble, so I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. Okay, so yes, we finished chapter 10. You're already in chapter 10, right? We finished it. So the justice minister, very, very nervous guy. 
always nearly getting a heart attack this time I mean we saved him and I guess the ones who kidnap not not kidnap it was fake right but yeah the other people on the other line I mean was it the same people on the ch chicken kitchen it kind of looks like it it, it kind of looks like the beauty girl right the beauty blue girl we'll have to see though I'm not really sure because sometimes they have kind of like similar looks right when we saw the hitmen's right they were kind of similar in looks but they're they were they're pretty different right so we'll see again but yeah the, the girl's name was beauty last time right so i wonder if it's the same girl or not the same girl or same woman i mean right so next episode sizzle will investigate this aka kidnapping case right so we're gonna continue this and do more of ghost trick phantom detective in the next one so i'll just see you then guys bye bye